Hello everyone, welcome to Evening with Zelda program. As it's perceived, our poet's family is in great expansion. It means that we need to expand our team as well. So, today I'd like to introduce you one of the three new members that will make part of the PWI team. She is a very talented young poetess. I'm talking about Divya Onkari. Please, dear S, let us to know a few about you. Divya Onkari, what place does poetry occupy in your life? Hello, everyone. I'm Garima Onkari in front of you all. So, this time I am here on request of Zelda ma'am. She invited me to recite one poem and uh, to answer a few of her uh, questions. So firstly, thank you so much Zelda ma'am for your kind invite and uh, I am humbled. So thank you very very much. So poetry, poetry actually have my heart. You know, poetry is something which keep which let me talk to myself it connects me with myself you know most of the time in life we just uh, lost ourselves in the world we keep talking with people we get hurt we get angry and a lot of emotions but many a times we don't talk with ourselves so poetry is that medium you know which uh, which made me understand myself through poetry i used to introspect myself so yeah i love poetry like Poetry is my like best friend and a best listener, I say. So yeah, poetry is very close to me and I just love writing. In your opinion, poetry is the most beautiful way to spread literature all over the world? Yes, it is. As I think poetry is the most loving form in all the forms because poetry uh, poetry uh, drench all the feelings in it you know these are not just words not just stories but it, actually emotions are talking you know the things we do not say those things comes in poetry so yeah poetry is the most beautiful way to connect literature also and you know the most beautiful thing is it reunite it unite everybody from all over the world we keep we feel like we're talking to each other through poetry understanding it, each other so apart from literature poetry has many things which uh, which are uh, which are which we can discuss which are best in their own way so yeah poetry is wonderful tell us why do you follow the Pen Wonders International Group? So Pen Wonder is a group, you know, where I found the very good, very wonderful poets, you know. Uh, when I read them, I feel like, wow, like uh, I used to learn from them, the way they write. And many times I just want, when I feel like I want to read something good or something different. So I just go to that group. So that group's not only made me, um, you know, that group is not just a writing or poetry groups, people are coming and posting. It is something you know, that is connecting everybody, you know. We are uh, reading and learning and uh, it's a uh, unique experience. So, I am, so, and also I will say that the people, the admin team, those who are controlling, the way they put the prompts, they uh, honor everyone. So that boost up the capabilities and that uh, motivates to write more and more. So the activeness of the group, that's wonderful and made us right. Finalizing our short talk, please could you recite a poem of you for all of us now? So I'm here with my short poem, not much long. So the poem is, Drenched in the ocean of tears, no way of coming out from fears. Gloomy days and terrible nights, far from alluring skies. Locked in room's dark atmosphere, lost totally in the life's sphere. Rolling words on paper, through the ink of my pain. Rolling words on paper, through the ink of my pain. More than the words, paper absorbing, tears rain. Streak of hope. Streak of hope isn't visible. To relieve self from pain, I just scribble. 
सो थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर द पेशेंस लिसनिंग एंड अगेन थैंक यू जेलडा मैम फॉर कनेक्टिंग मी विद यू एंड फॉर द काइंड इनवाइट थैंक यू सो मच It's great you poets. Thank you so very much for your presence today. And on behalf of Pen Wonders International Group, I welcome you and invite you to fly it with us on this great adventure. See you. And you guys stay well and safe. See you in the next Sunday. Bye-bye.